What's up, y'all? I want to share a dream I had maybe a month or two ago. Middle of the night, I woke up and I recorded it on my cell phone. Ended up being like a 13 minute recording. The dream puts me in mind of like end times, the tribulation period. The dream started off with me and a couple of friends from college. We were like in a student center, computer lab, and it was kind of weird because one young lady was trying to convince a friend to go and buy him buy her some nachos i think she was flirting with him and there was a whole back and forth about nachos all of a sudden we remember it's like a radio or a news report came on the radio that was sort of warning us about this attack all of a sudden really without warning although we was listening to this radio there was an attack on like the facility and we had to escape we had bags, but we had to get out of there as soon as possible. So we really couldn't grab much. I do remember pulling along a luggage. So I was just probably me and maybe five other people just running from, for our lives. And so we sort of come to this location where it's desolate, dirt everywhere, destruction. And there is, there's this huge, massive dome-like creature that moves. It's a dome. It reminds me of the Technodrome from the Ninja Turtles, and I just saw this recently, you know, just trying to find images to add to go along with this video. So that's what it reminded me of. Not as animated like the Technodrome, but just more solid, evil, you know, mechanical structure that's slowly moving along and it's just destroying things in its path. So we come to this location, and it's interesting because the people are there have been living this lifestyle for quite some time. Although we weren't, but you know, these sorts of things happen in dreams. So people are already on the ground <clears throat> and hiding. And we was trying to convince the guards or the people that had let us in and let us come, you know, hide and get in for safety. We was trying to go on the ground too, but they wouldn't let us in. So we had to sneak and, and creep and just to get into this hidden underground bunker. But eventually, it didn't take long for this slow moving dome to come and destroy that place or start attacking it as well. One key uh, weapon that it used, it used missiles that would go off into the air and then it would like it would explode and it would scatter. So like a scatter bomb that just drop bombs all over the place. At this point, it's now I'm no longer with my friends. It is now me and my wife. So we're trying to escape. We got kids. There are no kids in these dreams. I don't know where the kids were in this dream. Maybe we were the underground in the safe facility. I don't know. The kids weren't were not weren't in the dream at all. So my wife and I, we're driving. We get in the car. We're trying to escape. Again, the dome is slowly creeping, trying to destroy everything. I don't know if it's chasing me in particular, but people are always on the move. The goal that you always, you're always on the move. She's in a car. I remember her doing some fancy 180 spin move that only she could do in the dream driving a car to getaway car eventually we come to this hospital the hospital is heavily guarded here is not as much destruction it's just guards it's fenced in there are a lot of colorful lights like you know red it's dark and it's dark but it's still you know just some bright lights uh red blue and white lights a lot of scrambling people are moving trying to get into this facility. I remember asking the security, can we park our car in this location? And they told us no for whatever reason. And then I remember a guy trying to attack my wife. And I remember having a gun and trying to shoot the guy, but the, it wouldn't go off. So I remember having my wife and somehow we managed to get her to safety, but the guy had disappeared, like he was gone. So I don't know, you know, can't remember what happened to the guy in the dream. We eventually, to, I don't know if we got, I don't know if we got, I don't think we got back in a car. I remember we had to leave from that hospital, that location again. I think we asked the, I can't remember. I just remember escaping that place again. I remember there are more people around us. I don't know if we like go to a grocery store, we gather supplies. I can't remember, remember, but I do distinctly remember one of my coworkers. She's a sweet young lady. I remember her having like groceries and things. There are maybe at this point six different couples, I'd say. We were all just moving. We found another location to sort of settle in. It was also like destroyed. Uh, it was like a facility where it was missing walls. Walls had been blowing out. So there were a lot of openings. 
I do remember being attacked by some weird creatures. Um, what type of creatures? I don't know. Demonic creatures, alien-like creatures. I can't remember. I just remember there being a lot of creatures that we had to fight off in this facility that we were in. And again, for some reason, another huge guy tried to attack my wife. Now, this guy was huge. Now, I really couldn't do much, but because of my adrenaline, adrenaline and will to help her, I was able to fight the guy. And I remember like sticking some long rods like down his throat, down his esophagus during this fight that I guess killed the guy. So that happened. That happened in the dream. And then I remember the military going by. The military was going by. I remember the scatter rockets going into the air and dropping down again because the dome-like creature wasn't too far behind. And I remember a train. It was almost like the creature, the dome-like creature was chasing this train. And I was thinking to myself, is the military doing something that's forcing this drone to like follow them or to hurt us? Is, you know, is the drone chasing whatever it is on this train? I also kept thinking, like, what's the pattern here between this drone? How much time do we have in between each attack before he's able to catch up with us? That kept going through my mind as well. Like, we need to figure out you know, the intervals that this thing is attacking and moving. Maybe that could help us some capacity. I remember having those thoughts. Then we thought about going to hop on the train, but I feel like the scatter, bo uh, scatter rocket went into the air. It blew things up. I feel like we was knocked out and when we woke up and came to, everything was gone. I think I remember the dome-like creature sort of flying off into the air, flying off into space. I'm like, did the military attack it or what? I don't remember. So at this point, the six different couples or so that was in this facility, they started to go their own separate way. I guess that maybe the threat was gone, neutralized. I don't know. And I was thinking to myself, why is everybody leaving? Why can't we just settle here and sort of rebuild, regroup? You know, I remember my coworker, I'm not going to say her name, but I remember her saying that she was going to go to New York. I remember I know she has like boys and uh, she was married. And I was asking her, I think to myself, I was concerned for him, like, gosh, you're going to travel like 600 miles or so to New York in this car that may run out of gas, whatever, whatever the case may be. And that was all I remember from that dream. You know, there was like two other dreams or two intertwined into that one. I'm not going to speak on those, at least not now. But that was it. That was like, to me, it's like, like, God, is there some sort of warning? Is there some sort of message in this dream, y'all? I don't have the gift of interpreting dreams. So if anyone has anything, we'd love to hear below. Excuse me, in the comment section. That was it. I don't have much else to add. You know, usually I was thinking about, well, was I dreaming about a dome or some of my old friends? I don't remember dreaming about any of those events or seeing any things in the movie earlier that day that could have led to like influencing that dream if i was to and try to interpret the dream only thing i can compare that dream to is is the end times in the book of revelation uh christians being persecuted the mark of the beast satan coming to you know kill off christians the war of of christ coming to you know redeem us and take us back that's really the only thing I can tie it to. When you have dreams like that, it makes you want to get on your P's and Q's. You start living right, you know, getting sin out of your life. Whatever it is you may be doing that's not aligned with the will or word of God, you want to get right because you just never know. Could it be a warning from God about what's to come or changes you need to make in your life? So the scripture I'm going to read from is from Matthew chapter 24, verse 16 through 20. And it says... Then let them which be in Judea flee into the mountains. Let him which let him which is on the housetop not come down to take anything out of his house. Neither let him which is in the field return back to take his clothes. And woe unto them that are with child hmm, and them that give suck in those days. But pray ye that your flight be not in the winter, neither on the Sabbath day. Let me jump to 21. Let's see what that says. For then shall be great tribulation, such as was not since the beginning of the world to this time, no, nor ever shall be. And except those days should be shortened, 
there should no flesh be saved, but the elect, but for the elect's sake, those days shall be shortened. Then if any man shall say unto you, lo, here is Christ or there, believe it not. For there shall arise, there shall arise false Christ and, and false prophets and shall show great signs and wonders in so much that if it were possible, they shall deceive the very elect. Now, this is my first time reading this as I'm making this video and seeing the part where it talks about uh, woe to those who are with child and suck babies that are still, I guess, on the breast drinking milk. And if you remember, I said earlier, there were no kids in this dream. Even my kids, they weren't in the dream. And that's just interesting, you know, but that's something I'll be in prayer about all the more now that I'm reading this. But y'all stay encouraged. Be prayerful. Seek the Lord. Peace.